up everyone murder axe here I'm gonna show you some of the basics for direct contact let's get started first off let's go ahead and adjust your profile set your name pick your avatar and hit save next up is stats if you want to check your stats take a look at this area you got your overview, tells you your rank, your name, you check your statistics. Control binds. Before you get started, I would highly suggest you get familiar with your key binds. You can do that by going to settings, controls, and just take a look through this. Make sure you have everything set to your needs. Starting or joining a server. This is done by going to the world. If you wish to open a server, this is how you do that. Set your maximum players. Eight is the max. Your connection type online if you want others to join you and be listed in the server browser or LAN for a local area network. Keep it to yourself or others in your local area network. Click host lobby. If you wish to join a server, This is your server browser. The person that hosts the server, the admin, their name will be listed here along with the player count and the ping will show as quadruple nine. Do not worry about that. That's just a temporary placeholder. If you need to refresh, you could do that here. If you need to back out, do that here. Now let's go ahead and open a server. For this demonstration, we're going to leave the max players to two. We're going to set the connection type to local area network. This is the shooting range. Let's go ahead and get familiar with basic movement. W controls your forward movement. S controls your back. A controls your left movement. And D controls your right movement. If you hold Q or E, you will get your lean commands so for instance you're aiming lean left is Q lean right is E if you press control you will toggle crouch press it again you stand up press C to go prone and if you need to get back up press C again now walk speed your standard walk speed is such if you want to walk slightly faster, hold ALT, scroll your mouse wheel up, and you will begin to walk a little bit faster. If you want to return to a slower walk pace, hold ALT, scroll your mouse wheel back. If you need to sprint, hold SHIFT. If you need to sprint faster while moving forward, double tap SHIFT and you will tell that you're moving faster as your rifle will go up into a higher ready state if you wish to free look you can hold alt hold middle mouse button and you will be able to move left and right freely while still being able to move around as well weapon customization this is now done at any of the MRAPs near you which when you join the shooting range you can find them right here walk up to them press F and you will enter the weapon customization menu in here you're able to check your primaries and your secondary the primary rifle you have set rifles and shotgun uh, platforms to go through and manipulate primary SMGs primary sniper and secondary weapons say you want to customize this weapon 
Once it's selected, hit the customize menu and it'll open up all of the things that you can attach onto your weapon. So for instance, handguards. You can switch these out. You can move these around. You can move your accessories around. Let's drop in uh, tactical light on the right. Say suppressor. Here we go. Hangar grips. Once you get your weapon looking the way that you want it, go ahead and name it. Click save your preset. You do need a name for it to save and you can now find this in your list this is another one I had set up I'm gonna go ahead and use this for the rest of the demonstration I'm not necessarily going to use the one we just created it's just for video purposes so if you were to click this and don't need it anymore you can hit delete click close to exit out heads up display and healing to bring your HUD up press tab bottom right hand corner you will see you have four bandages three grenades your firing mode is set to semi and three black bars means you're at full health if you were to take damage grenade out and you get downs to pick yourself up press and hold the right arrow this performs a self revive as you can see your health bar is no longer solid black and you're draining you're spilling blood to get this fixed to heal yourself hold tab you will get a full heal every time if your teammate goes down to revive them all you have to do is press and hold the up arrow when you're next to them if you need to give up at any point in the mission you can press and hold the back arrow this will take you back to the spawn healing yourself, picking up a downed teammate, and self-reviving all use bandages. So use them wisely, plan out your moves. Ammo boxes. To refill on your bandages as well as ammo and grenades, go to your ammo box, press F. Your character will perform an animation of reloading. Weapon manipulation. To holster and take out your weapon, press H. This is a toggle. Press 1 to switch between your primary and secondary. To move your weapon into the different weapon positions, different stances, scroll your mouse wheel up and down. You can go into a tuck state by pressing the mouse scroll wheel button in. Right click to aim down sight, press R to reload. If you need to perform a tactical reload or a faster reload, double tap R. If you need to check your magazine, hold R. To switch fire modes on your rifle, press B. And if you press tab, you will see it went into auto, burst, and semi. If you do shift and F, you will inspect your weapon. If you press J, it will change your sight and the color of the sight. Right now we have the three time magnifier on. You can switch between those by pressing Alt T. Press J again. I prefer this setup. If you hold shift and press J or K, you can adjust the brightness of your optics. If I were to have a scope, I'll say a sniper rifle of sort, you could change the magnification by holding Alt and scrolling the mouse wheel forward and backwards. To activate your tactical light, press and hold shift L. I have it bound to my left thumb mouse button. If you wish to turn on your laser, press L by default. I have mine also bound to one of the thumb mouse buttons. Now, if you wish to change the color of the laser, that is done by 
pressing control K these are the three colors you have is red green blue if you need to use night vision and you want to switch your light and laser into IR mode this can be done by pressing alt L we suggest doing this all together as it'll toggle both of them should there we go put on night vision you can see it's still activated if you're aiming down sight you need to control the sway on your rifle hold your breath press and hold shift grenades if you wish to do a quick throw underhand tap G Clear out. if you wish to throw the grenade in more precise overhand throw press and hold G this will pull the pin out then you can aim get the setup where you really want to throw it. let's say you're about to throw this grenade into a room and your teammate decides to run in you're like well I can't use this grenade anymore to put the pin back in while holding G hold alt and press on the left click it'll put the pin back in also your grenade airstrike system to bring up the airstrike menu press on the plus key on the number pad this will allow you to pick your aircraft and the ammunition pick the ammunition you want and the amount select confirm and use your optics to place this green target wherever you want to have the airstrike drop 421 this is Blackheart 91 with JFO target brief line 4 1.320 feet west 300 meters corner target line 240 degrees cleared hot Blackheart 91 this is 421 roger line 4320 feet west 300 meters tally target Sit back and enjoy the Fire show. Perfect. Tactical signs and shoulder tapping. To bring up your tactical signs, mine is bound to X like I mentioned earlier. Please double check your keybinds. You can also take a look at these blackboards back here. They'll have all this information as well. Select your hand signal pick the hand signal that you want and it'll perform said action if you wish to shoulder tap on a teammate just to let them know that you're behind them and you're ready you'd have to get up behind said teammate hold alt and press the left mouse click to initiate the shoulder tapping stance and you'll have three options to pick from stamina trainer to get to the stamina trainer you'll want to go ahead and follow this direction uh, I'm going to save you some time and fast forward through this. <laughs> and this is where you start the running test talk to this guy right here he'll get you started on the running test which will up your stamina throughout time press F to get started you'll see on the left hand side it says the running test starts and this is the path you want to follow which I will uh, go ahead and fast forward as well If you haven't noticed yet, stamina bars up at the bottom right, as you can see, my guy is great. When you get up to this point right here, you have reached the first checkpoint. Now you have to get to the end, which is this way.
And this is the end of the stamina training. Press F on this guy right here and you'll see that you'll gain some XP and stuff for your stamina. Training facility. As you can see back here, this is the training facility. Here's how you can get to it. Alright, so if you want to go through the training facility outdoor section, you can do that here. The targets will reset themselves. And that goes for the indoor facility as well. You can press F on the doors to open them. And here's where you can go through some of the training. If you have teammates, they can go up on the catwalk and oversee the entire training. Hand out some pointers. You can get started here, work your way around, and you exit here. Or, I mean, you could go in through the back and clear it the opposite way. Here's some of the things to expect. Get started, walk up to the door. You can see it has several options. You can open the door here or lock pick. You can kick the door down by looking at the door here and pressing F. You can set explosives or you can set up traps. At the moment I wouldn't use this while you're playing co-op with people because you don't want to down yourself or your teammates. This is for PvP later on. So let's go ahead and get up here. This door is locked so this prompts the locking tutorial. To unlock this door scroll your mouse left and right until you see it jiggle so if you come here see it's jiggling just press T there we go you do that for the rest of them that'll unlock the door if you press F again the door will open up I personally like to kick doors down so we're just gonna do that as you see there's a trap here get rid of your target come up to the trap press F while looking at it we'll get rid of the trap you can also shoot them by shooting the base of the trap. I don't want to spoil the rest of this, so go ahead and uh, check this out when you get the time. If you're at the training facility, you can get back to the HQ and the helipad by following this road. Make a right. wish to take a look at some of your mission briefings this is where you would want to go for all the intel on that we don't need a weapon in here so we're gonna go ahead and holster our weapon hey what's up y'all so you want to go ahead and head over this way here's the mission brief room come up to this board press F to interact with it this is where you're at these are some of the other things you can check out while here it's Maryland Intel East Armenia Intel Iraq Intel Norway Intel and Afghanistan Intel all of these maps are amazing hey no hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. if the helicopter goes away it will take another 10 minutes real time for it to show up. You could either start a new server or you can wait for it here, perform some more stamina tests, uh, stuff of that nature. If you're looking to start a mission and you're at the shooting range, all you have to do is get to the chopper! Look to your right, follow this path right here. If you need to jump over this wall, you can do it by going over it just like that. But if you do need to jump, you can press your space bar and you will jump over this. Once the helicopter is here, as you can see, it says press F to select your mission. This is what the mission selection screen looks like. 
select your mission uh, you can switch to a PvP prototype but for your co-op you can leave it here you can set your maps this is Maryland you have Solveranger, Norway East Armenia Iraq and Afghanistan when you have your mission set hit back and you can start the game if you have other teammates they need to ready up which consists of them running to the helicopter and pressing F sometimes you can get away with it they'll show ready status and you can start the game the other way for you to do this is to start the server start the mission and then have your teammates join up they can just get straight into the mission once the mission starts select your force Go to the vehicle or the helicopter at the starting point to adjust your gear. This is where you want to go ahead and go through and select your loadout. And you're ready to start the mission. Alright y'all, have a good one.